Well, for months, our betters in the press and government have told us to fear Russia. The Kremlin hacked our election, whatever that means, and we're supposed to be upset about it and afraid. Okay, Russia's bad, but now we've learned something worse and far scarier. Our own government has violated the civil liberties of Americans in ways that would have been unimaginable even 10 years ago. And tellingly, hardly anyone in official Washington seems especially upset about it, much less shocked at all. Consider what we just learned about Na National Security Advisor under Barack Obama, Susan Rice. Just weeks ago, Rice went on television and lied, telling PBS she, quote, knew nothing about the incidental intelligence collection on Donald Trump and his associates. As it turns out, though, Rice knew quite a bit about that. We now know that she participated in the monitoring of the Trump campaign and the transition. Now, strikingly, many of the communications she and the Obama administration monitored were apparently unrelated in any way to the investigation into Russia. An investigation, you'll remember, that is, as of today, so far, the only excuse offered for the monitoring. So what exactly were the Obama people doing spying on the Trump people? And by the way, let's drop the silly euphemisms. Monitoring the conversations of your political opponents and then trampling measures designed to protect their identities is an incidental collection. It's not normal above-board behavior. It is spying. Now we're told that Rice's behavior probably wasn't illegal, in fact, nor was the surveillance that preceded it. U.S. law gives tremendous latitude to the intelligence agencies to surveil Americans, as well as to the White House and officials there who claim they need to see that information and pass it along to other parts of government. That's supposed to reassure all of us, but it shouldn't, because what it means is that our laws currently provide no serious protection to U.S. citizens from being spied upon for political reasons by their own government. And worse, it actually happens. In fact, it just happened, and that is the scandal here. 